Hey guys, today's look is going to be this blue and purple smoky glam look that was inspired by CoverGirl's Fiber Mascara Contest with Zendaya on Instagram. I've already applied my foundation and contoured and highlighted my face and I'll be making a video about that later. So subscribe to see that first. I've also done my eyebrows and the link for that routine is right here. Now I'll apply this sticky tape to make a sharp edge for the shadow and apply my Urban Decay Primer Potion and then use Giordano's white pencil for a base for the colors to make them more vibrant. Taking a flat brush, I'll blend out the white to make the surface even, then apply this cream shadow from the ELF's first edition eyeshadow beauty book. In the Coastal Sense 252 Ultimate Palette, I'll apply this indigo shadow to the outer V with a small tapered brush. With a flat brush, I'll apply this purple shadow above my crease. This line doesn't have to be super perfect because I'll be fixing it later. With a small fluffy brush, I'm going to blend up the line. Next, I'll blend this dark purple shadow in the V and also into the line above my crease. With a flat brush, I'll apply this shimmery purple at the end of my lid and right below the cut crease. With the next side of the brush, I'll apply this shimmery blue shadow to the middle of my lid and blend it into the purple I just added. I like to use this flat brush because I can flip over to create a smooth blend. Next, I'll apply this white shadow to the inner parts of the lid. Taking this light blue shadow, I'll smooth out the blend. With the indigo shadow I used before and a tapered brush, I'll clean up the cut crease and then use a small fluffy brush to create a more smoky look. With the same shadow and a round brush, I'll smoke out the outer parts. I will also blend this pink shadow to the outer parts. With a small tapered brush, I'll apply this black shadow to the outer V to create more depth and then blend it into the cut crease. Now I'll go back and forth with the colors I used prior to clean up the cut crease and bring out the colors to where I'd like them to be. NYC liquid liner in extreme black, I'll create a wing and then remove the tape. I'll go over the line with my Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Lino because it helps to make my fake lashes stick. Next, I'll curl my lashes and apply my Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara to my top lashes. And then apply my Vegas Nail Grand Glamour Lashes off camera. With the indigo shadow and a tapered brush, I'll blend it to my lower lash line. And right before I reach the inner part, I'll apply it downwards. <music> 
With the dark purple, I'll apply it to the same area as before. And then with the black shadow and a pencil brush, I'll go closer to my lashes to create a gradient effect and then use a fluffy brush to blend. With the liquid liner, I'll create a line where the shadow tapers off and connect it to the lash line. I will also be creating a double wing. I would advise doing the double wing before applying lashes to make it easier. Next, I'll apply the gel liner to my waterline and then create the inner point and use my angled gel liner brush to make it sharper. With the Giordano white pencil and an angled brush, I'll apply it between the double wing at the end and also the inner. Next, I'll apply my Colourpop highlighter in Wisp with a damp Miracle Complexion sponge to the area shown. Taking Series Amber Bronze, I'll apply it to the contours of my face. For blush, I use this Salmon Colour from the Costa Sense 26 Shadow Blush Palette. I use the Intense Butter Gloss Interest Letters by NYX and the last step is to apply a setting spray and I use Model in a Bottle setting spray and that is it for the look. Hope you guys like, comment, subscribe and share. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Tumblr and Snapchat. Hey guys, sorry for not posting a video in a month, but I have been in so much stress. I had exams.